Well, you know, I mean, we're basically trying to turn around our spine. Yeah, but you see, understand that if you try to make a movement right here and turn this way, you'll just break the shaft in two. But if that shaft is turning underneath like that, with the hips and shoulder moving, you go this way, you bend the axle. Mm -hmm. You've got to keep the axle where it is and bend. But if you took, if, if, if you, like, took me... Put, put a club around the back of your belt. Like this way? Yeah, put your elbows, act them both, mm -hmm. right angles. Now, mm -hmm. just touch the, the stomach. Okay, now, I'm going to hold your head. Don't move your chin. Mm -hmm. Bend over. Now, this chin stays here. Mm -hmm. You're going to shift over to your right leg. You're flexing the left knee. You're flexing the hip joint. Mm -hmm. Now, that shortens the space between the shoulder and the groin. Mm -hmm. Now, this allows you to maintain this plane. If this doesn't shorten, this doesn't shorten, the shoulder will come up. And you come up there, you're not aiming at the bull. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's there that way. Now, you move your left hip forward, pick up your right heel, drive your spine hip out that way and turn it over. Okay? Mm -hmm. See, that allows you or allows the wheel to go around the axle or the shoulders to rotate around the spine on the oblique plane. Now, if you go through this way, you're not going to hit the ball. It's, that shoulder's got to come underneath the base of that neck, like that. Mm -hmm. and, it's, uh, and this heel has got to raise. I can't do it. I'm right. 70% paralyzed in this leg. I don't know anybody on the tour that can hit the ball like that.